just been updated from the Kobe update. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do is go to KobeUSA.com, uh, look up the MID 7015, and download the update zip file. Put it on the root of your SD card, and there's a video right on there that shows you how to install that update file. Okay, I just done, I just did that, and I am right back at the standard, just the standard tablet. Nothing's been done to it except for that update file that Kobe provides for you. Okay, uh, the only other thing I did do is I did go in and turn the Wi-Fi on. If you want to go over to Android Tablets. Uh, website and get into the Kobe tablets and download all root your recovery image file and your Google apps and market package are all right on that website you also need a terminal emulator put that in the root of your SD card also if you can get that to work you can get your file manager grab a file manager and a terminal emulator off of there uh, yeah. what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna get me a file manager. type in www dot and it's L Y S E S O F T. And that's dot com. Okay, so you're going to www dot L Y S E S O F T dot com. Okay. So you go there, and if you do a little tap to zoom in, right here is And Explorer. It's a file manager. You can just tap right on that. Okay, once you uh, get to that page, if you slide down past all the screenshots, right here it says Download. And if you slide over version 1.7 right here, there will be a little right here to say APK right there tap on that APK okay once you download the file just click on it and down here at the bottom just hit install okay that will install then once it's installed you hit open okay you now have a file manager go to your root directory of your SD card Okay, and here's where you should have everything. I got my Z4 root. There's the update zip that I've already installed from Kobe. I got my terminal emulator, APK, my recovery image, uh, my, my Google package. You have to root, so you have to install. Tap on the Z4 root. You'll come up and you hit install. It's installing the Z4 root. Okay, at that point, hit open. Okay, when you get to this screen, you're going to have temporary root permanent root and unroot or whatever so what you want to do at this point is tap on permanent root okay I rooted it now it says it's rebooting okay now it's going to reboot the tablet the tablet is rebooted at this point if you open up your thing you'll see a Z4 root because we installed it and you'll see your super user right here that means if you see the super user your tablet is successfully rooted Okay, if you don't see that, go back into Z4 root and do a permanent root again, but it should work with no problem. Okay, at this point, we're going to go back into the uh, file manager. We're going to go back to the root directory of our SD card again. Okay, now at this point, we need to install the uh, recovery. Well, we have to install the terminal emulator first. So you tap on that. Hit install at the bottom just like you did the other app. Okay, when it's done, you hit open. Okay, at this point, your terminal emulator is here. What you want to type is S U and then enter. You, you hit allow. Anytime it asks for super user access, you always want to allow it. On that run, it basically just gave it super user access. So I run the terminal emulator again. Okay, here we are. Now I hit SU, hit the return. Okay, now, see now the keyboard stays on the screen on the second run. Okay, now you want to, what we're going to do now is install the Clockwork Mod Recovery without using the computer, okay? 
So at, after the SU, enter. Okay, now you want to type M V space. And then you want to put your slash. It's like a forward slash. Okay, and then you want to type system, S Y S T E M, and then another slash. Okay, then E T C, and another slash. Okay, then install. Okay, then you want the little dash, minus sign, whatever you want to call it. And then recovery, R-E-C-O-V-E-R-Y dot S-H. Okay, I know you can't see that up here, but that's how I'm typing it there, okay, as you can see. All right, then there would be a space, then another slash, then system. Okay, and then another slash, and then the ETC again, and then a slash, and then install. And I'll put this on the screen also to try to help show you guys um, what I'm typing here. Um, and then your little dash or minus sign again. And recovery. Okay, and then your dot. S H and then dot B A K. Okay, at that point you hit your enter or return. Okay, and that was accepted fine. Okay, then what you type is flash F L A S H and then you want. So that I find the underline. Oh, I think it's in the alternate. There it is. Okay, then underline. Not the minus, not the slash or minus, but the underscore or underline line is what you want there. Okay, so you got flash, underline, and then image. I M A G E space and then uh, recovery C O V E R Y okay then space then you want to put your slash because we got to tell it where the recovery image is so now you put S D card okay and then another slash and then recovery R E O V E R Y dot img okay at this point you hit your return okay now you, you're back at your little cursor now you want to type reboot recovery c o v e r y Okay, now I'm going to try to bring this up because this is everything that's in there. If you can try to get it close enough where everybody can see. See there, you do your <clears throat> do your SU, enter, and then the MV system, etc. Install recovery dot SH, you know, space slash system, uh, etc. Install dash recovery dot SH dot BAK. And then you hit enter. And then when you get your cursor back, you flash, you do flash underscore image space recovery space slash SD card slash recovery dot IMG, hit uh, return, and then uh, when you get your little cursor back, you type uh, reboot recovery, 
Okay, that's everything right there to install Clockwork Mod Recovery without using the computer, okay? At this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, Enter key, and this thing will uh, reboot the tablet back, and it will be in Clockwork Mod Recovery, okay? So, here it goes. Hit the Enter key. As you can see, the uh, tablet is rebooting. Bingo. There's Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, right there. Version 2513. That's what you need to install your Google Apps. Okay, this is what, when, you, when you're when you working with the computer trying to get your tablet to talk to the computer, this is what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to get Clockwork Mod Recovery right here. And I did it without the computer. I showed you how to do it without the computer. Okay, now, what I'm going to do at this point is we are going to move down to install zip from SD card right there. Install zip from SD card. Okay. Once you get there, that's the uh, left side of that rocker, that rocker uh, on the top here, right here. You want to use this side to go down in the menu, okay? And then when you want to pick something, you use this side to, to pick it, okay? It's a little different than the recovery that, that comes on it that you use to install your update zip. So just remember to, to use this side to go down and this side to pick your what you want to pick, okay? So here we are, install zip from SD card. Okay, so we pick that. Okay, at this point, we don't want to install the update zip. We want to install the Google package. So we'll, we'll push the, on the left side and we'll get choose zip from SD card. Okay. So then we pick that. Okay, now you go down. And you should have your, your Google zip package right here. The G Apps Passion. EPE 54B sign zip on your root directory. It'll be right there. You select that. You pick it. Okay, then you go down, pass all the no's down to where it says yes. You hit the yes right there. When you highlight it, then you pick it. And it starts installing your Google Apps and your Google Market. That's what it's installing right now. It says install from SD card complete. Okay. If you ever get in a situation where the tablet does lock up on you like this, what you want to do is flip it over and down here by the bottom there's a reset button right here. Okay? It's on the very bottom, right on the back. Take your little tip of a pen and just push in that little reset button. Okay? That will reset the tablet and bring the tablet up. Okay. Okay, we're back into uh, right back into Clockwork Mod where we was. Okay. Now we're just not locked up anymore. Now at this point, it says it should have already installed that just fine. So it says reboot system now. So you want to pick that. Okay. Now if you get the little Android dude right here, then you were successful at installing the Google Apps and the Google Market. Okay, at this point you just tap on your little Android dude. So what you gotta do at this point is you have to set up your uh, Google account, which is usually your Gmail, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Signed in. You tell it to do everything. Set up your setup. Everything's been added. Um, Facebook. Um, your Google Market, um, you know, everything is here. You know, your your actual YouTube app, got the latest Gmail, everything is right here. Anyway, here's the market. I just want to open it. Just so you guys can see it is the actual Android market. Where you can get all your Android apps and everything uh, right from the market. Right, there. Thanks for watching. Take care of you guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.